What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuned in to another episode of Ian's Podcast. Today, man, we're going to be going into, like, just some of the key tips on just, you know, just on the hustle. If you out there, man, you got your own clothing line, or you got your own product that you're selling, or even a service, man. One of the uh, things that I'm starting to realize, man, and it's one of the best things is being at, being everywhere at once. That's what the power of the internet help you uh, be able to do. You could be in multiple different marketplaces at one time, being able to have your product seen um, and be able to, you know, be digested, you know, and just in different marketplaces. You know, it's always good to have your own standalone shop where you can just do your direct sale. And that's what I mean by, like, you know, that they come in there straight for you. They not fishing around. They not trying to compare prices. They come into your shop. They come shop with you. You feel me? That's direct to consumer. You feel me? You can cater directly to them. You understand what they want, what they, you know, what they not looking for, you know, type deal. Um, <clears throat> but there's benefits that go with being in other spaces. So, you know, uh, you know, as part of we have our own brand uh, and our own fashion fashion line, and you know we sell our own merchandise. And one of the things that we do um, is not only do we have our own website, you feel me, where we sell our own merchandise, which is basically like our uh, our fortress, our castle, our, our um, you know just our share of the market where we cultivate and create our own experience and our own, you know, just. Basically, where you know that this is ours, you know, this is our home base, basically our home base. We created our home base, but we do understand the benefits of being in different various markets, just as what we, you know, like in, in, in whenever it comes out to a hustle, it's all about flipping, um, even flipping techniques. We do the same technique when it comes down to uh, our media, how we, you know, how we uh, distribute our media. Yes, we have our own platforms where we can cater directly to our audience, but then we also distribute to different platforms who may be looking for, you know, some of our content, but only a certain form of our content. They, they probably ain't trying to listen to the podcast. They probably only want, only want to watch the videos. So, yes, we do have YouTube channels, or maybe they only want to listen to our podcast, but they only want to listen to it on Apple because <clears throat> they got iPhones. So, we, you know, our... our our podcast is available on Apple and Android, uh, Google Play, uh, Music, and uh, Apple Podcasts. So then that way uh, we can be, you know, even more closer to the consumer, meet them where they at or where they go to go, uh, you know, find what they're looking for. Um, and if it's something that we provide, we want to be where they're looking for it at. Um, so therefore, if you an Android phone, we want to be that, you know, we, we want to ship our content directly to your phone. One of the best ways we could do that is what we do with the podcast. <clears throat> but we're going to go more onto like the merch side with it too. Um, so say like, for example, uh, you know, just selling, you know, Ann's fashion, right? Uh, one website in particular, like not only are we, we have our website, but we're also on like websites like eBay, uh, which is a different type of platform. You, you feel me? Your product is only up there for so long before they repost it. Um, or, you know, you can set different type of features, you know, auction, um, all type of stuff, bid, let people bid on your products. Um, and that's just a different way, uh, you know, they got a whole different type of market. You got eBay shoppers that, that only go to eBay to go shop, um, just due to the, them, them features and how they, you know, just, just how they just do the business, uh, you know, being able to allow you to bid, like I was just saying, bid or, uh, basically, uh negotiate on pricing you know that's one of the big bonuses with ebay um so sometimes you can create like you want to do discounts or something but you you know you kind of want to bid on it or you got one of them one-on-one designs or something like that uh you could do it that way so we're on ebay as well another website that we're on um is bonanza um which is another seller uh seller marketplace uh we can sell fashion home and garden beauty products collectible art uh, jewelry, um, you know, just more things, you know, li- like that, you know, physical goods, uh, you, you feel me, like sporting goods, uh, toys, 
Uh, you can also sell like DVDs, movies. Uh, they got digital goods. You feel me? Stuff like that. And by goods, I mean product. You, you feel me? Like digital might be. You feel me? Could be anything from media to you know things like that. Uh, software. <clears throat> but all in all, it's just another seller's marketplace. But the one thing I like about Bonanza too is that they got a feature on there where they basically they will promote. Um, they will basically promote your uh, product for you for a commission, basically off the sale. So say like for example, they promote one of your products, right? Um, and they promote it on Facebook, uh, Google, uh, eBay, um, Bing, um, you know, just like various different search engines and platforms. And if your product is to, you know, get a sale from them platforms, they'll ask for like a 30% commission or a 19% commission. You know, it varies just depending on what platforms you want to be advertised on. And you, 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 you feel me? So they have tiers of that. So, and the tiers go by commission as well. Um, so they have a 30% commission and 19% commission and one that's lower than that, uh, where they basically advertise the products for you, uh, and basically, they want to make a percentage, a higher percentage off the sale. This comes with its own benefits. This take out, um, basically, uh, this basically, you know, kind of tap back into that marketing budget that you might have. Um, especially if you, you feel me, you on the entrepreneur grind and you making the most high of current circumstance. Which means you don't really have a lot, but you, but you try to make the most out of whatever you do have. So platforms like this, where they basically will market and advertise the uh, product for you based on, you know, and just get a piece of the sale. These are platforms like, for example, we, you know, and in our strategy, a platform like this will be more so to create the brand awareness and help us get the product out there so that we can basically showcase the value we have not so much based off of you know trying to you know get the best margins which i mean by make the most money off the sale um but more so just getting the product in hand uh so which mean if we only make a dollar off the sale we're cool with that uh you know just due to what our business model is our business is not solely off of just selling of the product we want to get the product in hand so we can create that value so then we can upsell or other products, you feel me, then we can make all that, you know, then we can recoup that money back, you feel me, and it's basically like paying it forward, um, and, you know, just establishing the brand and just, you know, getting a product in more hands, um, and understanding that when we get the product in more hands, that creates opportunity um, to make the more money, you feel me, because we establishing those relationships, first, let's just establish the relationship, so that's what I like about a platform like that, it helps us be able to establish the relationship with our consumers, our buyers, our fans, our supporters, those that you feel me that are bought in and you know that you know they they bought into what we stand for and they want to represent uh, loud and proud. Um, and then another platform, uh, we on a couple other platforms as well too, um, <clears throat> like Store Envy. They got their own marketplace, but they also have a, a platform, but we use it more so for the marketplace. Like I was saying, we're trying to be at in, 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 in more places at one time. Um, currently, uh, yeah, we do have an Amazon account. We have not updated any of the ends products on the Amazon, but that's another space where you can also have your products at. Um, Etsy. Etsy is another one. Uh, currently... We are uh, putting our products on Etsy, uh, so you can uh, go check uh, Ends Fashion out on Etsy soon. Um, Etsy is another one where they do they charge per product commission. Um, man, and another uh, and then another uh, platform that we on, which is predominantly based in uh, in Asia. Uh, they, you, 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 I think that you would call it like what the the Eastern or Eastern Hemisphere. You feel me? Um, Long story short, uh, you know, ha making our uh, our product available on that side. But you also know that Wish, uh, and we're talking about Wish, uh, you know, uh, checking out Ann's Fashion on Wish.com. We're also available on Wish. But one of the big things with getting on Wish is being available to that Asian uh, and that that Middle Eastern, that, uh, that, that Eastern demographic. Um, <clears throat> tapping into the markets uh, over there. Um, and putting our products in place 
you know, where they can be, uh, you know, shot for and research and, you know, people can get an understanding. And also, uh, you know, just going back into what we was also saying earlier, um, when we was talking about, you know, uh, Bonanza and how they got their whole marketing um, thing, it, it, it basically utilizing the platform in which, in a way that we can create that relationship. It's not always about just the selling of the product and making the most money. It's also about establishing that relationship um, you, you feel me? So, and what I mean by that relationship with business, it always get tricky, man, especially when you talk about exchanging money. Um, so you feel me? Like, don't be always, you know, caught up on just making the most money and, you know, just up front, just think about the long-term goal. So once, you know, they pay their money, they see that they get their product in hand, they understand that this ain't no fishy ball game. They get their product, they like it. It's what... It look exactly like what it looked like when they went to go order it. Hell yeah, they more likely go be able, to, you know, more likely to order from you again because they understand that hey, you feel me? I took that chance. You came through for me the first time, so now let me dive back in. Let me see what you're working with again. Then also too, because of they came and shop with you, is now you you created that communication to where you can hit them up and let them know about future products, future deals and discounts. You know, you can offer them, uh, you know, just, you know, different perks and things like that just from shopping with you. And that's what we mean by building a, a relationship uh, and not just thinking about just the transaction. Like, I'm just trying to run a bag up. I'm just trying to sell X amount of shirts, but more so thinking about, like, how do I cultivate this uh, this buyer into, like, an actual, like, loyal supporter? Um, you feel me? But long story short you know we ain't gonna talk y'all ear off man we say this at the end of every podcast episode but we mean that man because we want to create a conversation and we want to also hear your voices so you already know what you need to go do leave us a voice message the link is in the description below but also you can comment and ain't no support like free support so go ahead like share subscribe Man, do what you need to do, man. Or you can go ahead and just pay it forward too. Make a donation, man. A uh, contribution to the podcast, or go cop some of that ends fashion that we was just talking about, man. Available on you know on our own platform, shopendsfamily.com. Available on Wish, uh, Bonanza. Available on eBay, uh, Story Envy. Man, go check us out, man. But it's your boy Bass. Y'all tuning in, ends podcast. Peace.